for, for this one engineering day, I want us to reflect on the future of engineering in Africa. What is the future of engineering in Africa? This is a question we should think about today as engineers. You may not be an engineer by training, but I believe everybody is engineering something. Even the psychologists are engineering something. We are all engineering something. In psychology, they talk about reverse engineering. So there is engineering. So what is the future of engineering in Africa? This morning, I was reading the African Journal 2063. And I read aspiration number six, which says that 2063 we shall have an Africa whose development is people driven. An Africa that relies on the potential of Africans, especially women and the youth. An Africa that cares about her children. This is aspiration number six. Very beautiful. Then I was thinking, if this is the Africa that we are supposed to have today, by 2063, Africa which relies on the potential of her people. That agenda was formulated in 2013. We are in 2025, 12 years down the road. I was thinking, what is happening in Africa right now? In my country, Uganda, in my hometown, Guru, where I was born, the roads were built by Japanese and Chinese. I went to Ghana. I found Chinese working on the roads in Africa. In Nairobi, I found Chinese working on the roads. In Tanzania, I visited a solar plant installed by Germans. What is the future of engineering in Africa? You can check in your countries. The largest contracts are given to who? To African companies ever get such contracts. What is the future of engineering in Africa? The Africa that we want, the Africa we are supposed to have, the Africa that we be want with Africans, will never be designed by foreigners. Will be designed by Africans. We engineers, we must know we are the ones supposed to engineer the Africa that we want. So here's a question. In your field, do you have the opportunities to make a significant contribution to designing this Africa? As an engineer, as a mechanical engineer, as an electrical engineer, as an industrial engineer, Check the status of our industries in Africa. Who owns them? The biggest ones. Foreign companies. The people setting up those industries are not Africans. What is the future of engineering in Africa? We talk about uh, sustainability. And we are supposed to design a sustainable Africa. We are supposed to use the resources that we have in a manner that does not cause trouble to the generations. But are we in charge of those resources as Africans? Do we own the gold that we have here? Do we process the coltant, which is used for making phones by foreign companies? What is the future of engineering in Africa? Think about it. We have the highest solar potential in the whole world. Africa has the largest solar potential. Are we harnessing the solar energy that we have? Check in African country. How many people are connected to the grid, to the national grid? In how many homes is there power, reliable power? In how many cities in Africa? Is there constant power 24 7 
for a week. How many cities? Especially in South Africa. I visited Burundi. And I found a little boy, a primary school boy, reading on the road with traffic light. Because at home there's no power. And I was waiting for example. So I engaged this boy for discussion. I asked him, where did you come from? He said he moved six kilometers from his village to come and pray, and then go back so that he can go and break some the next day. In Bujumbura, the capital city of the country. Where shall we have the Africa? where every home, at least in the cities, will be connected to the national grid. I went to South Sudan, and I found <laughs> homes in the city, in Tuba, in the capital city. Not a single day was there power for 12 hours. Not once. I spent 11 months in the country. What is the future of engineering in Africa? fellow engineers. Shall we have this Africa that will be sustainable by 2063? What will be a contribution? We all come from different companies, offices, or institutions. Are we thinking beyond our institutions? Do we have that continental mind so that if you are an electrical engineer, are you thinking about electrifying the entire Africa? Or you are thinking about only your company? What is the future engineer in Africa? Thank you very much.